who would like to go first? I think I'm going first. Okay, you're on. Thank you, Mayor Hales and Councillors, for the opportunity to speak today. My name is Julie Massa, and for the past five and a half years, as a developer for Casa of Oregon, I have worked with nine groups of ambitious, hardworking, determined homeowners with a shared vision, very similar to the Oak Leaf residents here today. They sought to purchase the land underneath their homes, um, and they wanted to own and take control of their collective futures as a nonprofit cooperative. Those cooperative communities thrive in nine Oregon towns and cities, and I'll name them for you, McVinville, Redmond, Gold Beach, Lieberg, Clackamas Bend, Boardman, Idlewild Park near Roseburg, and Dexter near Eugene. Notice that Portland's not on that list. I started when only two cooperatives existed, so I have personally worked to transform seven of the nine communities into sex successful resident-owned manufactured home communities that own and operate their cooperative business together. I mentioned that Oak Leaf residents have a shared vision for their community. As, a, as an experienced cooperative developer, I also see a tremendous uh, cadre of leadership skills, courage within the existing group of Oak Leaf residents. Although that vision is still forming in the normal stages of community development, they have come so very far from the threat of losing their homes to coming to you today to request $1.5 million. So I think in their shared vision, they see stability, cooperation, uh, affordable space rent, pride in their community and their accomplishments, structural improvements to their home and their community, and the ability to have very local control of what they collectively own. While Oak Leaf is unique, these are the same things that the nine other communities that I've worked with saw in their vision. I'm here to ask you to grant the request for $1.5 million so that they can put their vision into action. Like the other manufactured home communities have done, additionally, I request that the funds come from a source that contains the maximum amount of flexibility and the least amount of restrictions. There are other communities that face the same threat. I want the council to be aware of that and hopefully um, this request can um, also filter out into those communities. Please adopt Commissioner Saltzman's proposal for the CET, and these funds will help spark vision into action for this community. And thank you for your leadership. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you all for coming. Welcome. So, Commissioner, could you just give us a brief update on what's happening with the Oak Cliff, please? Well, um, the owner has uh, agreed to entertain an offer from the residents. And uh, CASA is playing a, a key role in that. And uh, we would propose that, uh, as I said, we would not spend any of the construction excise tax until there's been an approved plan by council except for the Oak Leaf Mobile Home Park. That's one I would recommend we move ahead on as soon as we can. And do, do we have to have the construction excise tax, or could we, could we use the funds in the HIF? Um, we could probably do that, too. But one way or another, we'll, we'll get it done. Yeah. <laughs>